Hi, this is Tech again, and today I want to do a bit of a world mod guide on this Asus P5KWS. Now, I'm not entirely sure which other uh, boards of the P5K series this applies to, but I can imagine that it also might apply to something like the Premium or the Deluxe. Um, I don't think it really applies to the uh, original P5K but it should be relatively similar ish at least now these p5k's have a are, are actually very nice boards but the bios tops out at too low voltages for serious extreme overclocking i would say uh, i think it's 1.7 for the cpu 1.8 for the pll uh, 1.7 for the north bridge and I think 1.4 for VTT or uh, as ASUS call it PLL termination. Anyways, let's get my overclocking board in here. Now, I just recently modded this and I haven't even run it since then, but this is my board that did 667 FSB uh, valid before. So I hope I can finally take the P35 record with it. Record is currently at uh, 680. Anyways, let me show you. We have five old mods on this thing actually, which is a whole bunch. Now one basic CPU. It's just a feedback mod. From here, feedback pin, connected to ground. I sold my uh, variable resistor directly to the casing of the PS2s. Next up, Again, all of those are going to be um, at the end of the video detailed on the computer so you can follow it yourself. Anyways, that's how I like to do my measuring points on, on boards with that many volt mods. Uh, that's two Moldexes, V-Core, Ground, one on the top one, Northbridge, VTT, MEM, two, uh, two Grounds and PLL on the bottom one. I'm going to show you the back soon. Now this is the Northbridge one, again Typical feedback mode, pull the pin low basically. Uh, I'm going to give you the values in for the for the variable resistors in uh, the pain session because on my board there is a bunch of, of really really dodgy compromises because I ran out of the, the correct values. Uh, anyways, standard this little eight pin I see here is the controller. It's a standard uh, switching back converter basically uh, these are this is a LM324 um, for VTT and VPLL because those are basically just FETs used as linear regulators here relatively low power uh, quickly let me quickly show you this FET here is your VTT and the top is where you could can directly measure it on the FET uh, for the um, VPLL, it's this bottom one, and you can directly measure on this bottom pin. And again, those both go to this LM324 here. Then we also have the memory volt mod in this area, which is here and goes up to another one of those 8 pin controller chips. Now let me show you the back and I'm also going to show you the measuring points I use. Now the top one here is CPU V-Core so you can use any of these caps that are for V-Core and also there is two of these pads. I'm not sure right now which ones but two of those are also V-Core. Now that's my ground, I just attached it to a case ground. This is the black wire, a bit unusual, usually I don't like to use black wires for voltage sense. Anyways, the black wire is north bridge voltage and here you can also see that I already added some MLCCs here and there to try and improve the FSB on this board. Uh, the bottom yellow one is VTT, it's a cap here, top leg of a cap that's 
this cap here. Um, okay, so let's continue to so the bottom Molex. Now here, uh, I wanted to use the case grounds, and then I realized that the audio header here I use for my my connector isn't actually grounded. So I had to revert to two pins on here. So I would suggest doing this differently. Uh, these case grounds here up here are actual case grounds. These ones are not case grounds. They just look like it. Keep that in mind so you don't make the same mistake. The red line here is our memory. It goes up to a capacitor. Now for memory you can easily find the capacitor to use or a capacitor to use by just measuring from this joke here. This is the joke for the memory VRM to any capacitor and where you find where it's basically connected you can just use that as an alternative measuring point. Now the bottom one is the yellow one here. That is VPLL and it goes to the left pin of this capacitor. Now I only found this one capacitor basically for filtering on, on VPLL. It should be this capacitor up here. This one right here above the south bridge. Now if you can find something else you can also use that of course or directly solder it to the fat on the top. But I like to use uh, only the bottom of the motherboard for all my sense wires. Anyways, the sense wires here I just sort of glued in front of audio because no one needs audio for overclocking. And this is eSATA and Firewire which is also completely useless. So I still have my 6 USB ports and PS2 up here. Anyways, that's it for this part. I'm going to switch to the computer and go over the more detailed volt mods now. Okay, here we are. Let's continue with the volt mods. Now, I'd like to start with CPU vCore as usual. And I'm going to try something a bit new here. Now, usually I always use green for everything, but here I want to do green my feedback pin that's here, here and here are a good spot and I'm going to use blue this time for grounds. Grounds would be the screw hole or the only other really easily accessible ground on a somewhat big part would be the left pin on this capacitor. So those are your grounds and I'm now going to just add our little variable resistor. I'm going to use this pin as an example, like this, like that, to ground. Now, for values, I would suggest using about 10 to 20 kilo ohms. Now, you will notice a lot of repetition here and if I would have supplies and would mod one of these boards, I would probably just use 20 kilo ohms everywhere. So that's basically your vCore mod. It's really, really simple on this one, as most of the mods are going to be. So let's continue to our North Bridge voltage. There we are. Now this little APW7120 is also used on memory, so it's exact same mod basically. Just with different values, slightly different values. Anyways, uh, feedback pin on this is this pin here. And you can also use these two resistors here. That's also connected to this feedback pin. Now, grounds in this area are really, really difficult to find. Uh, the only one I could find was the tab of this low side fat of the Northbridge VRM. So maybe use the, the case grounds if you solder them directly to some of the I.O. 
your variable resistor. Anyways, uh, variable resistor from here. To ground. There we are. So again, this is your ground or use a case ground somewhere. Actually, there should be a ground pin on this fan head. I think it's this one, but don't quote me on that. I think that is ground. Uh, anyways, now let's continue. Oh, I should mention the values, of course. Uh, again, this one is a bit lower, but like I would suggest about 5 to 20 kilo ohms. 20 kilo ohms is stretching it a bit, but I'm going to include it here because this is basically the only one where it's that low and it would be a shame if you couldn't use all 20 kilo ohms on everything if you have the chance, I guess. So 20 kilo ohm is still fine, it's just not going to be as precise the regulation. So if you want it really precise, use a 5 or the absolute sweet spot would be 10 kilo ohms here. Anyways, let's continue to the triple mod, which is going to be in this area. Now, let's start with, um, I don't know, what should we start with? Let's start with memory. Memory is this little controller up here. This would be your feedback pin. Uh, also, this is connected, this is connected, this is connected, and this is connected. I'm not quite sure why they need that many resistors here in the voltage divider. Anyways, uh, on here, from the feedback pin, variable resistor to ground. And that's not the right color. Actually, maybe this is a bit better. Not really. Let's use dark blue. To ground. And let's continue. I'm going to point out all the ground points and the values afterwards. Or, uh, nah, I'm going to do the value now. Anyways, that would be 10 to 20 kilo ohms again. So, same as usual basically. We're going to have a lot of that. Anyways, let's continue to VTT. This pin here, which you're going to pull low with your variable resistor, then this is also connected, and both of these are also connected here. From here, now let's do, I guess let's go bottom with this one. Not what I wanted to do. Back in frame. Okay, that looks good. Anyways, ground here as usual. So let's do the last one, which is VPLL. That would be this pin here. And the bottom of this capacitor and these two resistors. So the left pin of these two. Now from this one, same thing. Variable resistor to ground. Now for both of these uh, values are going to be, well, let's do it the way I would say would be perfect values. So 10 to 20, 10 to 20 kilo ohms for that one. That is our VTT. And for this one, a bit higher, I would go for 20 on the low end and 50 on the high end. 
But again, you can always only use 20s on this board, which is amazing. So now let's point out some grounds in our area. Of course, this unpopulated capacitor here has a ground here. Then this tab of this fat, because this is a low side fat. Obviously the entire screw hole up here. Then the right pin of this MLCC and there's also a capacitor down here. And the left pin of this capacitor is uh, it's also an unpopulated capacitor pad. Uh, the left pin is also ground here. So there is plenty of options in this area. Again, you can just do it like I did and, and put all of the, the variable resistors on the IDE header, which I think is a pretty good spot. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it for this board. Now, if you have some other versions of the P5K and your VRM areas look different, uh, feel free to send me a picture of it and I will figure out the voltmod from there, hopefully. Bye!